But when the peritoneum hold the intestine, that is called mesentery. Actually, these are called mesentery. See, this is your, this is the jejunum. But jejunum is hold by this membrane. This is called mesentery. Because if it is not hold by something, then how they will be, they will look at it. This is called mesentery. This is also mesentery. This is also mesentery. And stomach also held in its position by peritoneum that is called another name that is called omentra. That means stomach, intestine, they are held, lined, covered and held by the, attached by the peritoneum. But its name is different. When stomach, when it is located in the abdominal cavity, stomach is lined by this type of membrane that is called omentra. The intestine also held attached with peritoneum, that is called mesentery. mesentery. In the mesentery, see there are a lot of blood vessels. In the fresh condition, if you see in the fresh condition, see there are only this see there is blood vessel. If you see closely, there are thin blood vessels. That's your mesenteric artery and mesenteric vein. Actually, whatever we are taking food, this food is going to stomach and then coming to intestine. And after digestion, that I explained in the last class, mm -hmm. the end product from the intestine they actually absorb in the blood vessel. Okay. See, this is jejunum, for example. This is uh, ileum jejunum, or this is duodenum. Or even this is the stomach. So, this is stomach. So, uh, see in the peritoneum, there are blood vessels also. There are a lot of blood, blood vessels in the peritoneum. In the mesentery, there are a lot of blood vessels. So, whatever, uh, whatever we uh, whatever, for example, in stomach, food is digest, and after digestion, the end product from stomach, it will go to the blood vessel. Because in the peritoneum, there are a lot of blood vessels. In the mesentery, there are a lot of no. blood vessels. So, from here, the glucose will go to the, directly to the, by no. diffusion, by diffusion, see, the blood vessel is attached. Uh, and if you see, yes, if you see, the capillary, the also came here in the wall of the intestine, wall of the intestine. intestine. So inside the glucose or fatty acid, then they will come to the blood vessel, into the blood. That's why all the blood vessels are here. Thin layer, capillary are also in the wall of the intestine. Otherwise, the end product of the our food, they will go to the blood vessel. And then from here, it will go to the mesenteric head and ultimately go to the heart. So that's how, that's why every part of the intestine, every part of our stomach and intestine, they have lot of blood supply. And the blood vessel, they run through, through the mesentery. Because how blood vessel will go? If there is no Messenger. support, then how they will go there? So mesentery, they support the blood vessel. They make a road to run the blood vessel. And this branch, branch of the blood vessel come to the intestine. Clear? So, uh, and also in the mesentery, there are a lot of limb nodes. There are a lot of limb, limb nodes. Node. You know, limb node, yes. it's part of uh, lymphatic vessel. Limb nodes are also there. A lot of many, many limb nodes are there. See? Can you see? These are the limb nodes. Like a small pot, like marble. See? These are limb nodes. These are the limb nodes. See? In the, in the body, not only mesentery, in the whole oh, body, we have many limb nodes in our body. We will, start, we will teach this limb node in the, in the class that is lymphatic system. We have another chapter that is called lymphatic system. We will teach you this thing, limb node. Limb node is spread in the whole body. Okay? Limb node, it has different function. We will discuss later. It is, it is important for the immunity of our body. Okay? Limb node. So this, uh, in the machine, there are a lot of limb nodes are also there. This is called mesenteric limb node. In different area of your body, we have different limb nodes. In the uh, submunibular region, there is limb node. In the scapula, there is subscapular limb node. Limb node is scattered in the whole body, okay? In our body. It will have important function. That will be discussed later, okay? So now, another thing is that, uh, uh, we discussed in the theory class that the internal structure also uh, is different in rubin reticulum ovatum. For example, in theory class, we have discussed ruminal internal, this is called mucosa. This is called mucosa. You know that histologically, the layer of elementary tract has four layers. Wall. This is the wall of elementary tract. This is called wall. Wall of the elementary tract. Okay? And from 
uh, is superior to anna the whole element track it has four layers mucosa sub mucosa muscular system and so inner layer is mucosa so this is mucosa there are four layer if you if you take one layer out for example if you take mucosa then next layer is so uh, yes mucosa can, there are four layer so there are four layer mucosa and then next layer is because it is it is very thin layer this mucosa after under mucosa next layer is sub mucosa if you means some then muscle system and finally serosa this is serosa see this is serosa see can you say serosa see see this is serosa serosa and under serosa muscle is external and then some mucosa and finally this is mucosa whole layer layer so in the rumen of mucus of the rumen it has papillary like structure can you see yes. papillary small small see yes. see these are the papillary. ruminal papillary papillary like carpets ruminal papillary in the mucus of the rumen and reticulum we discussed last class the reticulum it has honeycomb like structure can you see yes. 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 mousa can mota honeycomb like structure actually it, it has honeycomb like structure in the mucus inner side of the reticulum rumen reticulum omaza omaza has a leaf yes. see yes. not fold leaf like structure mane je patar moto sada no ase see omaza leaf can you see this is called omaza leaf Omazam and abomazam has mucosal longitudinal mucosal fold. See, yes, longitudinal mucosal fold. The mucosa is thrown into folds. Bhitor is the mucosa. Bhitor layer ta kama ki bolii mucosa bolii. Mucosa ta ki folding bhag hai kaise na? Mucosal fold. So different structure, internal structure of human reticle and omazam and omazam are different. For example, if I in the exam, if I tell you that what is this, you have to see human. If I say what is this, you have to say reticulum. But sometimes we cut a small piece. We cut a small piece and give you for identification. Then you have to say it is rumen. Because so if I give only a small piece, if I give only a small, this piece, then by this internal arrangement, internal structure of the mucosa, you have to say that it is rumen. If I cut a small part of reticulum and give for exam, then you have to see reticulum because only reticulum honeycomb like structure. This structure is not present in the rumen. And omazam leaf like that. And abomazam long is in a fold. Clear? So in mucus of rumen reticulum omazam omazam are different. That we discuss in the theoretical class and also we have seen in the practical class. Clear? So overall, this is the uh, elementary track. And another thing that is that teeth. Uh, you know, teeth is the uh, teeth is a, one of the accessory organ of the digestive system. What are the accessory organ of the digestive system? Teeth, tongue, salivary gland, liver, stomach, teeth, tongue, salivary gland, and pancreas. Stomach. Liver. What are they? Teeth. What number? Key? Teeth. 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 Tongue. Teeth. Tongue. Salivary. Stop. I repeated three times. Somebody have told the stomach. Am I right? No, sir. No, sir. Elementary canal. Zin is still there. Zin is still there. The blood pattern. Understand? The blood pattern. Who is it? 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 Who is they, they supported me, stomach, stomach. Yeah. Stomach is not yeah. necessary. Yeah. 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 Stomach is the main organ of the limited time. Teeth, yeah. tongue, salivary gland, salivary gland, pancreas, liver. Yeah. Yeah. These are the accessory organ of the organ of reproductive system. Now we are very clever. So teeth, uh, with, uh, I did not discuss teeth in the uh, theory class. Maybe in the theory class I will give you the dental formula, but uh, here, uh, so you know the teeth. Teeth has uh, different types of teeth. These are called incisor teeth. Incisor. This is canine teeth. Canine. These are the premolar teeth. These are the molar teeth. Last teeth are called molar teeth. And before molar, pre-manic teeth. Before. Before. Yeah. 
So free cadet school. When before going to cadet, you are studying free cadet school. Free money before. Molar, free molar. Can I? And these are the incisors. Clear? Incisor teeth. Four types of teeth. And number of teeth and number of different types of teeth vary from species to species. That will give you the dental formula. There is dental formula, you know. Can I incisor? How many in cattle, in goat, in horse, in dog, in human? There are different variation of the number. Okay, that is the dental formula. But here the main thing is that so this is teeth has upper teeth and lower teeth. Teeth has upper teeth and lower teeth. For example, see, these are called upper teeth and these are called lower, lower teeth. teeth. Upper teeth and lower teeth. Upper jaw and lower, lower jaw. Mandible is called lower jaw and maxilla is called upper, upper jaw. jaw. Upper jaw, lower jaw. Upper teeth, lower teeth. Lower teeth. Clear. So here is also incisor, here is also incisor. Here is canine, here is also canine. Here is premolar, here is premolar. Here is molar, here is also molar. Clear? But okay, but if you compare, this is the this is the uh, scale of horse. This is the scale of cattle. Cattle. So cattle, if you see, cattle, one of the important thing is that it has no upper incisor teeth. There is no upper incisor teeth. But lower incisor is present. This is a lower incisor. Clear? <coughs> See? Upper. No upper incisor teeth, but lower is present. But here, upper incisor and lower incisor both oh, present. present. So one of the important difference is that if you are asked that uh, what is the main difference between teeth of cattle and teeth of horse. Oh, so one important, major important difference is that in case of cattle there is no upper incisor teeth. But lower is present. That means upper uh, incisor teeth nine cattle. Okay? But instead of incisor teeth, upper incisor teeth, there is a structure that is hard tissue that is called dental pad. Dental pad thakikhan. It is not dental pad, but in this area, hard tissue, hard fibrous tissue that is that, that form a hard structure, like rubber band. This is called dental pad. So actually, if why there is hard tissue? Because you know cattle, it 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 hold the grass, it grasp the grass, hard structure, rough structure. That's why it needs some instead of incisor teeth, it needs some hard structure. That's called dental pad. Then go to the edge of the teeth. Dental pad. Instead of in place of incisor teeth, there is dental pad. It the hard tissue, like rubber like band. Okay. Okay. So this is that uh, major difference. Cattle has no upper incisor teeth, but horse has upper, upper incisor, incisor teeth. teeth. This is the main difference. Another difference is number of molar, premolar, it varies. It's another difference. And another thing is that uh, teeth is very important for the determination of age, you know. I think it is supposed to learn uh, in the animal science. Uh, animal science is a corona uh, There are the A's. Uh, we know uh, A's of animal is determined by heart. Teeth. But in case of human, your date of birth is written in the your in your certificate, in your ID card, everywhere. But in case of animal, we can identify, we can determine the A's by observing with the teeth. Because there is a specific time for a specific teeth. For example, first pair incisor, eruption of first pair incisor, eruption of second pair incisor, eruption of third pair incisor, eruption of that utha. Permanent teeth is two types, milk teeth and, and permanent teeth. You know, we, when we were child, we had milk, milk teeth. teeth, but it fell down and permanent teeth, we got permanent teeth. Permanent teeth, incisor teeth, in case of cattle, so there is a specific time. For example, in case of horse, first pair incisor, it will erupted in the two to two and a half years this is second pair incisor in three years like that so there is a specific time for eruption of a specific teeth so if you see only first pair incisor then farmer say okay it is it's more cattle age is two years maybe like that if it is also already second pair then it's more age so th that's i think it will be uh, taught in the animal science 
I don't know. Uh, they have got a lot, but maybe they will teach you this thing. Also, in the anatomy book, we have this eruption chart. Eruption chart means in which age, which teeth, especially in scissor. We can we we consider in scissor teeth. In which age, which in pair of incisor erupted. Eruption means comma. Clear. On the basis of that teeth, we can determine the age of the animal. Clear. If you if you go to if you if you want to sell if you if you want to buy any cattle in the market, then village farmers they know they just open the mouth. Okay, it is old cow or it is young or it is big, like that. On the basis of teeth, clear? Do that side that jawan man sun so this one will be clear. Let the jawan go. Do that. Man, ki fourth one pair in size looks. Incisor to the pair pair. It is incisor, it is incisor. Okay, sir. We will have a robust pair. So uh, this is that about the teeth. Next class we will study the liver, uh, liver and tongue. Uh, next class we will study and we will kill the animal. And in the animal we will show you actually the uh, position of the different organ. How actually? This is just to identify the parts of organ. But really you need to show how they are in my body. In animal, this yes. is very important. Okay, when we will kill the animal, then we will show you. So uh, by this time, uh, this is almost.